Hey everyone, welcome to Neo's fifth session to take a look at how he's doing. <laughs> he's You're probably working. ridiculously cute out of all the horses we've had. He's so adorable and he's so sweet and so good natured. He's just such a little character. So he came to us um, because uh, he was trained and was riding, but apparently he was um, bucking kids off and not very confident and pretty spooky and um, not bucking them off, I don't think, out of being mean or nasty, but just out of being scared and timid. And it wasn't really hard to tell that with him, that he's, he's definitely a more insecure pony. Um, but I love horses like this because when they're kind of insecure like this, they just care about doing the right thing and they care the about having a connection with their human. And when they know that they can trust you, then they're really easygoing and they'll <laughs> let you do pretty much whatever the heck you want with them. <laughs> Which can be pretty fun and cute to deal with. So here's just a little look at kind of, you know, what he's like to handle right now. And he's pretty agreeable and you can tell that, you know, he's had a fair bit of work done with him. He's you know, easy to put the bridle on, easy to touch his ears and stuff like that. And he really is very good natured. He doesn't seem mean or anything like that. He seems very friendly. And then we've been working on his uh, confidence building. <laughs> so Fanny's just being really goofy right now. Oh boy. And so a little bit too much as it got close to his head there. Oh but boy. you can see he's, he's okay. learning to put up with a lot. <laughs> we definitely uh, do our fair share of uh, desensitizing and confidence building, but we use a lot of positive reinforcement so that way we're not just doing things to the horse, that the horse sees it as an opportunity to earn. And what we find is that they become really motivated and they try a lot harder. So here is Neo going to give his first pony ride with us. So we're using Wendy. Wendy's a level one Harmony Horsemanship instructor and she helps out with uh, some of the training with the horses. Good boy. And we'll do sometimes a couple sessions with the horses that come in for training. It's nice to have another person to Pat, work with the horse so they don't get Pat so attached to just one human. It's important that they get comfortable with more than one person, which just makes it easier when they transition to new people in the future. So we had Wendy kind of pat the saddle and make sure that he was calm and comfortable and then go ahead and get on there. And we wanted him to get used to pony rides because we thought with him being a pony, you know, he might have kids on him realistically, you know, the best job for him in the future is to be a kid safe pony. He's also a fairly steady guy that he could be a small adults pony, but being a kid pony would just, you know, make sense for him based on his size, but he's also very, very sweet. So that, you know, could be something for him in the future. So we did a lot of work on just touching him and moving around while riding, you know, just kind of doing things that kids might do and things that we might do in summer camp or lessons and things like that. And you can see, you know, he's a little bit hesitant going over the tarp there. Uh, but overall, he went over and then kind of looked for a cookie afterwards. So Wendy's just practicing doing more things of moving around on him. She kind of fell forward a little on him, reached forward and touched his cute little ears. And just doing some different things to kind of test out, you know, does he react? And you can see he does slow down in some points, but we definitely don't want to get him in trouble for that because that's not a bad response at all. So we just kind of allow him to slow down and then we just ask him to get going again. And then he was doing so good at the walk that we just said, all right, Let's give this trot a try. So we go for a little trot, and you can see he's a little bit confused at first, um, but after we just are patiently persistent, you can see he figures it out. And I didn't film this session in entirety just because, uh, one, it's fairly repetitive, so I thought it might get a little bit boring for you guys, and two, oh my goodness, winter is coming, winter is here. Towards the end of this video, you'll actually hear snow on the roof, which is, uh, yeah, winter's coming, even though it's October 17th, I believe, today. We've got the, uh, the snow and happening and cold's coming, so the camera does not last super long. And arms out to the side, like an airplane. And so now Wendy's one just arm playing around with a few different arm movements. 
and switch your arms. Good job. And hands on your head. And hands on your hips. Good job. Our volunteer has gotten lazy. There we go. All right. And now we're going to do our hands on our shoulders. And now one hand on the front of the saddle, one hand on the back of the saddle. And reach back and touch your pony on the body. Good job. And on the neck. Good job. Good job. You can stop. <laughs> So this one's just testing out uh, no stirrups. All right, he's ready for summer camp. Sign him up. <laughs> Good job. So all of those tasks that we're doing are things that we do for summer camp, but I am being a bit cheeky. He's not actually ready for summer camp, yet he just needs a little bit more practice, a little bit more confidence in the tasks Good that job. he's doing. And one the other he's way? He's definitely a very sweet pony, and he's made great progress. And this is the first time that we're trying around the world with him. So he he's not going to need a lot more work, I don't think. He's doing really, really well, especially with the positive reinforcement but we're definitely going to keep working with him over the next uh, you know, couple weeks or a few weeks and kind of see how he progresses He's and like, keep working up with him. And, but before we'd want to have um, kids working with him, we want him really <laughs> solid on this task, but definitely <laughs> he's doing amazing. Go. So here's a little look at him and his lack of confidence. So he's doing amazing, lots of great things going on with him. It was really good for the pony ride. And then here's a little look at what he does when he kind of gets scared. So basically, we're, we rode him up and we wanted to ask him to go over this bridge, but he's just kind of tense and nervous in this corner. We put some panels up against the corner that you can't see, and uh, it just looks a little bit different. And we had the tractor out and started to drag some of the dirt. So he's just a little bit on edge. So he kind of freezes a little bit, like he just kind of stands still and gets kind of stuck in his body. So we're just patient and we wait for him to breathe and don't push him or anything like that. We just kind of wait for him to settle and kind of soften in his body because we don't want him to be reactive. We want him to be responsive. We just kind of wait for him to loosen up in his body. And that takes a little bit of time. So instead of filming the whole thing, I just kind of, I'm going to jump ahead in a second and show you how just with a little bit of patience he does end up being able to walk over the bridge and be able to do it just, just fine. Um, just takes a little bit of patience, but he doesn't do anything nasty or anything bad. He just gets a little bit stuck or frozen in his body. So he is able to do a lot of those little things. And then it's only his uh, fifth session with us and uh, he's doing really well. So we just wanted to take a look at what his trot and his canter are like. We've already seen uh, some of his trot, but we wanted to do a little bit of that yeah, flat like work and then a little bit of that canter work and just kind of see where we're at with the other things with him. Very good boy. And just kind of assess them a little bit and for us, it's not just about that go. We really care about those halt transitions and making sure that they can stop and they can steer. And so he seems pretty confident in his trot. He's got a pretty decent rhythm going on. He's not too fast, not too slow, and uh, seems pretty comfortable. And then also when it comes to and show doing off. the halt transition, you know, he seems pretty yeah, responsive, pretty understanding. The back up there is looking pretty good. He's got his head a little bit up, but oh he's boy. understanding and he's giving to the reins. So things are going pretty well. And we just wanted to kind of see where his canter was at because we know that he had training previously. We knew that he does know things. It's just a matter of, you know, his confidence level and things like that. You can kind of see in his transition into canter, he kind of... Yeah, do Startles more, a little forward bit more. a little bit and then breaks stride. So that just shows a little bit of lack of confidence, the fact that it's not fluid and real rhythmic. And you kind of see 
he does do the canner. He does it pretty nicely. The transition's a little bit rushed, nice. so it just shows a little bit of lack of confidence, something that, you know, we'll have to continue to work on. Good but boy. he's, you know, controllable and able to stop, which is the most important thing, is that he's got the relaxation and the understanding to be able to stop. And that was the right canner lead. So we just take a, a look at the left canner lead as well. Sometimes horses can be really relaxed and balanced on one side, but can be really unbalanced on the other side. So it's really important to make sure we kind of check out both sides and not kind of make assumptions about anything. So again, you can see how he kind of goes into canter and then he breaks to trot and then he goes back into canter again and then he breaks and then he goes back in. So all of that's just kind of showing lack of confidence in that canter, the fact that he's not able to kind of stick with it because he's not really a lazy pony. Like he is willing to go. Uh, he just needs a little bit more relaxation with those cues. So we'll be working on that over the next couple weeks. So then we just wanted to take a look at his jumps a little bit. Didn't want to do anything really big with him. Just wanted to kind of get a feel for what's what does he do with his body if we offer him something to go over. So he seems pretty willing. The first time you can see how he kind of stopped on his own, which is kind of his go-to, is that if he gets a bit nervous that he tends to stop. But we're pretty happy with that because of all the responses a horse could do, we would much rather a horse kind of stop and say, well, I think I gotta stop now. That's really not that bad. You can politely ask them to go forward. You just have to be careful with horses that tend to get stuck in their bodies like that, that you don't ask them too much or get too assertive with them because then they can get pretty upset uh, because they feel like they've got nowhere to go. But overall, we're really happy with what he's doing. We think he's a super sweet and adorable pony. And with a little bit of work, we're sure that we're going to be able to find him a great home because he really is a nice little guy. So thanks for watching, guys.